We're celebrating youthful ambition um, on this panel in our industry, um, and that may be fairly obvious from, uh, from our panellists sitting in front of you here. So these are the guys and girls that have uh, disrupted, who have innovated in the industry, uh, and they've shown incredible entre entrepreneurial qualities and ambition. I think it's really interesting for young people in property actually when they're starting off because there's a huge amount of potential and, and I still think there's a lot which can be done um, within the sectors and I think from a you know for a lot of you guys here from a slightly older perspective no offense um, actually looking at young people and seeing what they want uh, is really you know I think that's basically where the, the next generation and uh, the new ideas are going to come from. Now Ross tell me is it a good time to start a company? The, the best time is just when you start um, because I think a lot of people I know spend a lot of time thinking about it um, rather than, I guess, just going out and doing it and learning. And I think that most people learn from doing. And if you fail and if we fail, uh, you know, we, we're going to be able to move far faster in the future because we would have learned from those mistakes. You've got to know where you want to get to. And we, we, we certainly know where we want to get to. But I think there's no point sort of looking at someone else and, and how they got there because the market's different. The market will always be different. I think you've got to concentrate on what you do. We've, we've got a business plan. We've got... We've got goals we want to meet, and, and we want to meet those goals. It's not about worrying about what someone else has done. It's about worrying what, what you do. It's, it's always really worked on a project-by-project project basis. We started with the first one while, while, while we were doing our jobs. Um, so we, we were doing full-time full jobs along the side. So we started with the first one. That we, that we'd, once we'd sold that, then we could move on to the next. So it was a slow-burning slow process. The and thing I love about property is the fact that actually it is, there are so many people in the property industry that do go out there and set up their own business, don't they? It's, mm. it's, it's an industry that really seems to promote and encourage, and there's a high prevalence of, um, of people that do it. And I, think, I just think that's great. I think it makes it a really fun place to be. It's an exciting industry. I love being a part of it, um, and, and obviously very new to it. But I think what's a, a, the one thing that the industry, and we have to work so much harder, harder for, is getting, I think, people from different backgrounds. You know, we're building cities, we're building buildings, we're picking brands, and we're creating streets. And um, I think that there's probably a little bit of a lack of opinion from um, the whole of society in this industry, which is a shame. People find more surprising is, I think, that I'm a woman. And actually, that has been something that rather than, it's interesting because people do, there aren't enough women in this industry, but actually I've, instead of finding that an obstacle, I've actually found that probably more of a help, I think, because there aren't enough women in the industry. I think actually when you are a woman, it, it actually helps you to get noticed. My theory on this is that you dealt a, a hand of cards in life and, you know, some cards are good and some cards are bad. Some cards suit a situation, some don't. And you just have to play whatever you've got as well as you can. You've all reached great successes so far, and um, as the title of this debate suggests, the only way is up. So keep on doing that, and we hope to see you on the on this panel again soon. And uh, can everyone please thank our thank our panelists. <laughs>